My name is Joni Elijah. I am a visual artist from Houston, Texas, living and working in downtown LA, and this is Grand Park, our LA Voices. Uh, for inspiration, I use my memory for one of my sources as, as inspiration. I think about a lot of the scenes, uh, a lot of the ways I grew up. I think about the way I was raised, being raised by my mother on the weekends and my father during the week. That is something where I pull a lot of inspiration. Just scenes from how I was raised and a lot of those things really inspired me. And uh, going back home, going back home really inspires me. Seeing my community now, up to date, seeing, uh, just seeing people on the street just seeing people on the street here as well, that inspires me. Working on murals in the inner city in LA, South LA, just seeing how much things are alike, even in my community back home in Houston and seeing the community in LA, that really inspires me because it, no, it lets me know that we really are all still connected and we live some similar lives. Yeah, so sometimes when I'm, when I'm, uh, I guess, trying to talk about what's going on in the world, I know sometimes those realities can be discomforting for the viewer or even for me sometimes. So embracing those discomforting realities, that, uh, that's when I'm using my memory. Sometimes those realities, uh, going back to certain scenes that could be, that were probably traumatic. And even uh, some of those discomfort discomforting realities are times when I'm reflecting on police brutality or the inequalities that's in uh, America. Just reliving certain situations, reliving like certain uh, traumas that I had growing up, being that I used my memory as a source material. Support is a, a, a pretty big thing that we need as artists. My biggest source of, of support has been from my family, friends, people that have been following me on Instagram since I first started painting, since I, I actually began painting in a painting class for non-art majors. And I was posting every new painting I was doing on Instagram. And like everybody has been following me since then. They've, they've been encouraging me and have been seeing my, uh, my progression and the way I've polished as an artist and they just keep me going. Uh, representation from galleries, it's uh, super encouraging. It's, uh, they, they motivate me a lot. I think the support should uh, come from just local art galleries. I think, uh, I think it, there should be more ways for public art For self-care, I would say it's painting. I really, that is a self-care for me, but when I'm outside of the studio, one thing I love to do that, that is really soothing for me is working out, um, taking naps, sometimes just making beats. I'm still kind of like, um, I'm not that relaxed because there's still a lot going on. Like e even right now, like we're going through the George Floyd trials and I think that's something I'm watching every day. And you know, being that I'm so close to that situation, you know, I know George Floyd's family, and I just recently did that mural back home dedicated to him. So I'm still kind of on edge, still trying to learn and still figuring out ways to always keep those subject matters relevant in my work. I think when I get out of my studio, I think what, what really makes me feel good is being creative and still being creative and reading. Reading is something that I realize is the most soothing thing since the pandemic started, since we've been in quarantine. I think since I was in my chamber, I was able to just read and read and read plenty pages and just gaining knowledge is, is uh, self-care for me. It really influences my work. I think uh, once I'm reading, it, it just enhances the work and it allows me to bring those different subjects into the work and that way I'm able to teach through my work. Find me on Instagram at Jonah 
Elijah. And you can also find me on my website, JonahElijah.art. And up next for me, I'm assisting Michael Massenberg with a few local murals. So stay tuned.